Hello, my name is Eileen Turgeon. I'm an occupational therapist and certified hand therapist in Chicago, Illinois. I developed this instructional video, Occupational Therapy for Patients with the Digit Widget. The purpose of this instructional video is to introduce the occupational therapist to the AGI Digit Widget and guide occupational therapy interventions. After viewing this instructional video, the occupational therapist will blend new knowledge with previously acquired clinical skills and core knowledge of occupation to support the patient's occupational goals. Learning objectives. After viewing this video, the learner will be able to explain the purpose of the digit widget, identify the components of the digit widget, transfer knowledge of pin care to the digit widget, employ occupational therapy knowledge of anatomy, biomechanics, range of motion, edema management, and patient education when providing OT services to patients with a digit widget. The Digit Widget was developed by Dr. John M. McGee of the Ham Biomechanics Lab in Sacramento, California to reverse PIP joint flexion contractures by a skeletal torque. The patient typically has the Digit Widget in place when they arrive for their first occupational therapy appointment. The pin site will have a post-operative dressing that is removed by the OT. After removal of any post-operative dressing, the OT reviews the digit widget components with the patient. The patient likely has a digit widget patient information brochure. If not, it can be downloaded from the Hand Biomechanics Lab website. The components of the digit widget include a cuff. This neoprene hand cuff sits on the hand. The pin block. The pin block sits over the two pins on the dorsum of the finger. The pivot. This clamps the connector assembly to the pin block. Connector assembly. This snaps onto the pin block at the pivot. The hook tab. This attaches the connector assembly to the handcuff. Elastic band pin on the pin block. A second elastic band pin is on the connector assembly. Two pins are inserted into the middle phalanx. Elastic bands transfer the primary force of the middle phalanx to the counterforce connector assembly. This gentle force allows for lengthening of the contracted soft tissue. Here is the digit widget in place. The digit widget is intended for PIP joint flexion contractures of 30 to 45 degrees. The three elastic bands, purple, red, or yellow, have graded force from 100 grams per centimeter to 500 grams per centimeter. The lightest band, purple, is applied initially. Increasing torque, including band strength and number of bands applied, depends on tissue response and patient comfort. Decrease torque if pain or edema increase or if active flexion decreases. The goal is to use the lowest torque possible that re results in increased PIP joint extension. Except for bathing and active range of motion, the digit widget is worn continuously. Pin care. Pin track care is similar to other external fixators. There's no universal pin track care protocol Therefore, follow the surgeon's preferred method. Pin track care knowledge is easily transferable. If you are not familiar with pin track care, consult the surgeon. An informative article is included in the reference list. Here is what the pins look like up close. The two pins are in the middle phalanx and exit the dorsum of the hand. If approved by the surgeon, the connector assembly and cuff may be removed for hand washing and showering.
To remove the connector assembly, leverage the connector arm counterclockwise on the pivot. The connector assembly will snap off. If you leverage the connector arm clockwise, nothing will happen. To reapply, align the half circle groove on the connector assembly with the pivot on the pin block. Support the pin block with one hand and snap the connector assembly on with the other hand. You will hear the snap. Here is a demonstration. I'm moving the connector assembly clockwise. Nothing happens. Counterclockwise off. And there's the snap. You should now understand the purpose of the digit widget to reverse a PIP joint flexion contracture and be familiar with its components. You should also feel comfortable relating the care of the digit widget pins to other external fixators. After removal of the pin dressing, review of the digit widget components and instruction on pin track care, the OT instructs the patient on edema management and home range of motion program. One-inch self-adherent wrap, such as Coban, is used for edema management. For severe edema, the wraps are used continuously except for hand washing. Active range of motion can be performed with the fingers wrapped. For mild edema, the self-adherent wrap is worn at night and as needed during the day. Here is an example of Coban wrapped fingers, making sure to keep clear of the pin block. You wrap distal to proximal. The patient is now instructed in range of motion exercises. A typical home program includes active range of motion every hour, 10 repetitions of each exercise. The connector assembly may be removed for exercise or worn for exercise. Active range of motion exercises include intrinsic plus, hook flexion, full fist flexion, full extension, and abduction, adduction. Full fist flexion, full finger extension, finger abduction, finger adduction. Here is an example of a patient performing a portion of their range of motion exercises. Full finger flexion. Full finger extension. finger abduction and adduction. You should now feel prepared to implement an occupational therapy range of motion and edema management plan for your patient with a digit widget. You will need to take into consideration your patient's individual circumstances and personal occupational goals. Here is a handy reference list. Thank you for watching my instructional video, Occupational Therapy for Patients with the Digit Widget. Please feel free to watch it as many times as needed to meet the learning objectives. Thank you.